what's up guys welcome back to hmht my name is ben your host of course and today when it comes to mac os i have some good news that we have a new update and the one that we are talking about today is mac os 12 monterey beta 5 now you can see the software update page and it's already found the update and as you can see mac os monterey 12 beta 5 now at the time i'm recording this video this is actually at midnight as you can see so i missed this update because it came out so late and at the time i'm recording this video it's available to developer beta testers only and this is already a few minutes into the next day because today is 12 august and if we go to the more info tab you can see the update size that it came in at 2.38 gigs and i was updating for mac os 12 beta 4 so let's quickly install this update and then see what are the software changes that come with this update and just to let you know in case you are not yet away i would like to let you know that also yesterday in uh, apple released mac os pixel 11.5.2 for all those that can update to it so if your mac supports pixel this is an official version and you can update to it now let me show you the other updates that were released by apple this week since it was sort of random releases so this is the apple developer page the software update downloads you can see yesterday apple released mac os 12 beta 5 and then on on monday uh, rather on tuesday apple released ios 15 as well as ipad os 15 beta 5 and also on the same day this week tuesday apple released tv os 15 beta 5 so yesterday the only two updates that we received were watch os 8 beta 5 and also mac os monterey 12 beta 5 and for big sir they got 11.5.2 now since i've already updated my mac let's go ahead and go to the about this mac section because i want to see the build number that came with this update and as you can see we have a build number that is 21A5304G. So the letter that we have at the end here is actually a G. And in case you watch my other videos, you would know that on Mac OS 12 Beta 4, we actually had an E at the end. So that means that Mac OS. Uh, 12 beta 5 is actually going in the negative direction by two steps which is not something that's great and obviously if we go to the storage section here you can see how much system or mac os storage is taking that is taking up 16.59 gigs quite substantial but not much of a difference from the previous update and also i would like to let you know that the full installer and ipsw file as well as the public beta are not available so perhaps later on today since it's already august 12 as you can see those will be available for those that can update to them now let's talk about the new features and changes that came with this update one of the first things that i did when i updated my mac is to go to the system preferences and then check for the software update just to make sure and you can see this message that has been here since mac os 12 beta 4 and it says your mac is running the latest software update allowed by your administrator mac os monterey beta 12 uh, and it says 12.0 so this is now what the message shows when you go to your software update once you are on the latest update and i'm not sure whether public beta testers are getting this same message but i have a developer profile and this is something that you can always check out and see what message you get once you have updated now again another thing that i noticed that popped up after updating when it comes to the app store for me i noticed that i got an update when it comes to apple developer so this is this just showed up like after i initially updated to beta 5 and you can always check it out for yourself if you have an update or any other updates that came with mac os pixel beta 5 another thing that has been updated with this mac os uh, version if we go to the apps here or rather if we go to the widget section here and go to on the bottom here where it says edit widgets 
and go to the weather widget you can see that there have been minor changes on the widgets themselves you won't be able to see much but on the icon where it says weather here you'll be able to see that the blue color has been darkened it's almost as dark as what we have here on screen time so you can see it's more prominent on the top portion of the weather section here which is something that's great now there's also something else that i would like to show you that actually came i think on beta 3 that i noticed so this is a screen recording of it and it has to do with some sorting uh, features or some some sorting ways that were put into place when it comes to mac OS monterey and you can see that it sort of tells you the previous seven days and then previous 30 days and if i'm to put like a new screen recording right here today it will put a subsection that says today and it's like a drop down menu where you can click and see what you put on your desktop in the previous 30 days but i notice also that this does not apply to folders so if you add a new folder it won't show up in that section so that is also something that i noticed that has changed and it's been here i think since beta 3 but i just had missed it and had not covered it also something that i noticed here if you go into system preferences the notification icon here you notice that the red is more prominent as you can see and instead of just saying notifications it says notifications and focus so if you click there you'll be able to see some of the settings that you can do under notifications and you can see some of the styles and alerts that you can put or select once you allow those and then focus you notice the modes that you do you have here and if you want to add focus you can create custom focus or if you had then if you have not yet added these focus modes you can always add them to your focus and these carry across uh, your devices once implemented so that is something now it's notifications and focus and not just notifications also just uh, to show you another change that came to Safari since uh, Safari has been receiving some uh, you know mixed reactions with this update as well as iOS 15 you can see if you go to Safari and go to about Safari you can see the software version that we have that is 1.26.1.3 now this has been updated before we had 24.1.4 so this is a new safari version that has been updated and also again to do with safari if you go to uh, preferences here in safari and then you go to tabs you can see that this that this compact layout tab or separate tab that was added you can see what it does here and this was added in beta 4 however on beta 5 they changed the background as you can see in the background there you now have mac os monterey wallpaper or background so that is also something that has been added with this update now again something that i missed on beta 4 that is um not mentioned with this update has to do with universal control so before you would actually be able to see universal control using your activity monitor but for some reason with this update nothing is mentioned about universal control so if you're looking forward to universal control and enjoying the functions of it those are not yet fully implemented in this update hopefully in a later update and also the release notes of mac os speaks up uh, mac os monterey beta 5 rather do not mention anything when it comes to universal control so it's kind of unfortunate but that's what it is now there's quite a number of applications also that received some updates for example the podcast you notice that when you open the podcast for the first time it says you can now it says shared with you and find podcasts shared by your friends in messages and on listen now so if you click listen now and for example uh, oh it actually popped up again i wonder why that happened so you can browse some of your podcast or your saved podcast and when you go to the three dots right there you notice that you now have an option to share uh, episode this is mkbhd um, podcast and if i go to share i can share 
it in messages now with this update so finally beta 5 allows for this if you want to share or you know have something interesting to share with someone you can always do that within the podcast app and you also get a new splash screen another app or a software that has been updated has to do with voice memos so the moment you open up voice memo for the first time you notice there's a new splash screen and it says for your recordings everywhere playback speed and skip silence so those are what are new within the um voice memo i use i usually call it voice recording for some reason and also the home app received some updates if you open the home app for the first time you will notice that the, there's a some people are getting a new splash screen but i didn't get it but my background changed before it used to just be plain white but as you can see you have the loading accessory and uh, scenes screen that's just white but the background as you can see here is sort of light blue you can see updated map style i'll be covering perhaps this in more details and then you have all new place cards and improved search within maps if you use this shortcut on the mac you will get a new uh, return to home shortcut if you have some home connected or peripheral devices that you use so that is something that's new with this update now that's about all the new features and changes that are here with mac os 12 monterey beta 5 quite substantial for an update that's below 3 gigs but in summary just in case you are curious when it comes to mac os uh monterey beta 5 the release notes did not mention anything that was resolved however this new feature ha i mean this new update has about four new features it has about um, five deprecations and 21 known issues so maybe that explains why the build number went two steps back in the negative directions because there is no resolved issues but we have 21 known issues that are still there and five deprecations now other than that that's how this update came in for me in case you're curious when this could be released i looked at my youtube channel so this is my mac os big Sur playlist on youtube and you can see that when it comes to mac os 11 big Sur, you can see that it got all the way to uh mac os big Sur. 11 beta 10 and right now with mac os 12 we are actually on beta 5 so we are like halfway if we are going to get the same number of betas and at this time apple is still on the two week release cycles when it comes to this mac os monterey so in that case if they release an update after every two weeks then we can sort of expect uh, this update to come out sometime early October or mid October. However, Apple does sometimes move to weekly release cycles, and in if that happens sooner, then we could get this update sometimes late September or early October. Now, other than that, guys, um, this that's about it for me when it comes to Mac OS uh, 12 Monterey Beta 5. If you like this video, please leave a like, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe down below and stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video very soon peace